is your favorite little keto goofball diving in today marks five years 224 days of my ketogenic journey where the goal currently is to have the most fantastic life with the best quality of life that I possibly can for as long as I can where will it take me who knows but you're here with me but in the past well I mean current goal is also weight loss more weight loss but I've lost 155 pounds been stuck in this little weird spot for a long long time and trying to get myself back on track so we're going to talk about how it went today and you know you guys kind of already know what happened yesterday but we're gonna grapple into that and do the weigh-in so don't forget to like subscribe share and ring that bell if you're interested in a very honest real life ketogenic journey all right y'all y'all know this this little spill here is coming it's time to rant rave and misbehave here diamond style Am I the only one experiencing time flying? I mean, seriously, because one of you told me, you know, your, your calendar is still on February. I was like, well, that can't be right. I'm all, it's only been two or three days since I've done it last. And then I realized it's like, what's March 9th? And I was still on February and I did not even complete that February. I hadn't even filled it in. I flipped my calendar all ago and I was like, ah, it's been a hot minute. But it seemed like it had only been a couple days. I was wrong. Anyway, going to try to start filling that in again because, Wow. Time just flew right by me the last couple weeks, and I didn't even see it happening. I had no idea it was happening. Ooh, excuse me. All right, so you guys know that was laid off. Ensued some struggling with my ketogenic journey. Um, whereas I didn't feel like it was a very mental or emotional thing, apparently uh, my, my food habits saw otherwise. So I've struggled uh, recently, but... Today was a much better day. I finally made my next meal keto and pushed <laughs> really hard. Now here at the end of the day, I did get into something that could be problematic, but it's keto, so we'll see how that goes tomorrow and I'll tell you all about it then. But uh, yeah, so this is the way in for this morning's way in. So it's yesterday's foods, which I told you yesterday, not good, not good at all. And the way in depicted that. Not as bad as it could have been, kind of, I, I, I've been kind of doing this number, expecting to see 180 on the scale every morning. So far, no, and hopefully tomorrow we'll drop back down. So, yeah, that was, uh, um, let's see what, let's see if I can recall everything I ate yesterday. Because I had every intention of being keto perfect yesterday, but was perfectly horrible at it. Um... I also want to like apologize to you guys because where I, I want to keep my journey with you guys as honest as possible. I realize that everything I say and do can affect somebody else and I don't want to discourage other people from getting on this journey because, and I, I really even hate the term journey, but this is a life-saving path. This is a path to be off medications, to be healthier, to feel good, to have your joints stop aching, to just... Feel better overall, get rid of brain fog, uh, diminish uh, diseases that you may already have, and prevent diseases that come in the future. In fact, a ketogenic journey or cutting sugar out of your diet and a lot of carbohydrates to excess out of your diet is pretty much, I don't want to say a cure-all, but from my understanding, about 90% of all disease is caused by our diet. So just because you watch me and you see me struggle right here and right now, Understand that this this has literally saved my life. I literally went from damn near dead and dying to a very active person again. To, to somebody who doesn't hurt all the time, who's not always sick, who's not afraid of dying. At the well, from that, <laughs> I, you know, I have a healthy fear of that. I don't like heights, but my point is, I, I'm not concerned at this very moment that the food I just ate is going to be what takes me out of this world. If that makes any sense to 
some of you, because some of you probably have ha never had the health problems I have, um, had, rather, and then I was like 311 pounds, which I know in today's conversations, it's a lot, but it doesn't sound like that much, because there are some people that are four and 500 pounds, 600 pounds even, but I'm five foot tall, and 300 pounds on me for somebody who's five foot seven, five foot nine, that's probably closer to 400 pounds equivalent. So, that was very hefty on me. It's very hefty on anybody, but when you take height into consideration, it was even more. So, I, I was very sick, very diseased, very unhealthy. Um, and this journey has done a lot for me, and I want you to know that because I'm struggling now does not take anything away from what this has done for me at all um, because of this I have learned so much about myself so much about medication so much about um, vitality really feeling what it's like to live again because it felt like for 20 some odd years I was committing a very slow form of suicide um, and I hope YouTube doesn't flag this for that, but that's what it felt like. And honestly, that's kind of what it was because I, I didn't know how to lose weight. I knew that, you know, working out really, really hard and eating very, very little was what everybody said. But then I'd always heard and read that most people fail at that. And even if they succeed at it, 99% of them regain all their weight. So I was like, I don't, I don't even want to do that. That doesn't even seem worth it. So, then a little can keto, and my whole life has changed since. It really has. So, I understand that the things I say and do can influence other people, but please understand that that does not mean you shouldn't try this, because it does work. It, it, it is amazing. It, it, I can't even explain how life-changing it has been for me when you feel like you won't make it the next six months. If you're lucky, it'll be six months. You, you are, you're applying for disability because you're so unhealthy you can't work. To being able to work, to be able to go on hikes, to be able to, to breathe more freely, to <laughs> pick and play with your grandkids without feeling like you're just going to fall out. I, so, just, just so you know, just because I'm struggling at the moment does not mean I want to discourage anybody from doing this. In fact, it's polar opposite. I want you to do it just do it it's, it's been so worth it all right now let's get on to the honest part of my day yesterday and i can't even remember what the hell all i did i know that there was a donut i know that there was a big flurry <laughs> um all right yesterday me and hubby first thing um went out we were i think we were, did we go for a hike yesterday yes we went for a hike yesterday um, so that was the second one. We went for another one today. But anyway, we went for a hike yesterday. And I told my husband, I said, you know, I know we shouldn't. But it's cheap. And it's right there. And it's already ready. So I encouraged him to go to the Chinese buffet. It's actually really, really cheap, too. That's the bad thing about it. We can eat there cheaper than we can Burger King or McDonald's or anywhere else. And we were out. So, we really should have ate at home. I should have made eggs. I wish I had made eggs now, but I didn't. And that wasn't the choice I made. I made the wrong choice, the incorrect choice, and went to a place that has very little, if any, keto foods. So, I did that. Which means I ate all the things that, you know, egg rolls, wonton things with the cream cheesy stuff in them, duck sauce. I don't know what's in that, but I know it's not keto. Uh, various types of sweet, weird chickens. Um, and don't any of you dare say cat. I understand. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, just one of those horrible jokes that float around no matter where you go. But uh, we did that. And I was like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm making my next little keto. Now, we did, we did go on a hike in between. Um, nice hike up in the mountains. One of you said it was... It's Bean Shoals Trail. I think that's the one we were on. Um, so one of you kind of knew where it was. And I was like, yeah, you've been there too. Cool. You must be in that area. Um, so yeah, but the Yadkin River runs from like the ocean to the mountains here, which is a 
big ass river and it runs actually right by my house i literally could have gotten the same view of the same river four miles down the road but we chose to go an hour anyway it's still a beautiful area place we've never been before so we did take a good long hike um, with Shiva, that dog is growing too fast. When we got her, the first time I weighed her was about a week after we had her. Sorry about that. So, um, okay, so we came home later in the evening. My husband's like, I'm going to the store. I said, God, I'm hungry. He said, you want to go eat? And I said, yes. And I tried to make that next mojito. I literally... I got a double whopper with cheese that I took the bun off of. But he had onion rings. And I started eating his onion rings. Mm. Yeah, no, I should have done that. But then he went over to McDonald's because he was still hungry. And he ordered him a, a caramel frappe thing. And um, a, a cheeseburger. And we're sitting in line. And I keep saying, don't do it, 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 don't do it. Honey, give me, give me an Oreo McFlurry. And he did. Then I came home and ate it on it. Then I waited till everything kind of settled on me some so I could see straight. And then I filmed my video. I was like, oh man, that was a lot of food yesterday. A lot of very unhealthy food. And I'm very not happy that I done it. But I did it. And I want to be honest with you about it. Because I have struggled lately more than usual to be honest with you by far I mean usually when I have times like these it's intentional it's like okay we're going to the mountains um, I'm gonna have this week off and I'm gonna eat whatever I want to this week I'm not gonna worry about it these last couple of weeks this has not been intentional um, one day my daughter's birthday kind of was intentional I intended to have a piece of cake in celebration with her but I'd been cheating all the way up till and then after two so this, 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 all of this was not intentional. This, this hit me a little bit differently than usually when I do things. Um, there have been times I've fallen off and I've had something I shouldn't have. But that was a meal. Or maybe even a day. But this has been week. So, I really got no excuse for it. Um, I knew I shouldn't be doing it. But I didn't have the strength to not do it. But today, today I did so much better. So much better. Oh, we got this. We got this. I'm getting back on track, getting my, my crap straight, and I'm working on it because I still want to have a wonderful quality of life as I get older. Yeah, it's great to lose a lot of weight, but I'm going to keep aging in this body, and I need this body to not hurt as much as possible. I need this body to be, a, be able to move as much as possible. I need this body to be able to work as much as possible. I need this body to be able to play as much as possible. I need this body to do a lot of stuff. Okay, like everything I ever intend to do again on this earth will be in this body. So I need it to act right. <laughs> Which, to help it act right, I have to feed it right. So it's still go. You know, regardless if there's weight loss or not, I still don't want to be way off keto. To have a day or two here and there, whatever. But accidental weeks, that's not a good idea for me. And I don't want to be there. Um, that's not the spot I want to be in. Again... This body got a long way to go. <laughs> I hope. I hope that's the goal, is having a long way to go. I ain't even putting makeup on, on today. But after I show you my weigh-ins, which I'm getting ready to do, um, I'm going to tell you the brightest part of my day, and I want to hear about the brightest part of yours. Wednesday morning, day after Corey's birthday, 178.8. So, after being a complete and utter crazy person, uh, food-wise, for, I don't know, what, a week now or two, 179.2, and I've been awake for like an hour because puppy. Uh. Alright, so, no surprise there, really. The only surprise there was it wasn't more. So, that's what I'm working with. I'm ready to get back down to 169 and below and stay there. Uh, I want to just, you know, keep steady dropping for a while. But for that to happen, I've got to put in that hard work. But again, the main goal at the moment, which weight loss, always the goal for me right now because I've got, you know, a lot of excess meat and, and blubber thingies that's really soft that I want to get rid of. See it? 
I'd like to get as much fat out from under that skin as I possibly can. Got a lot. Lots, lots. Want as much gone as I possibly can. Bare my belly, my thighs. Um, my boobs have done it. Have it. They, we don't need to do no more of that. Too bad you don't get to choose where it comes from. But anyway, uh, unless you got money and you do surgery. But anyway, <laughs> so I told you I'd tell you the brightest part of my day. And here it comes. But I want to hear the brightest part of your day. What was the best part of your day today? I'm sure you got one. You hear Zach over there, all that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he's outside all day. And we got sinuses. Pretty sure humans are not from this planet. We shouldn't be allergic to every damn thing, including the sun. Just saying. <laughs> um, I've heard theories about that lately, too. But anyway, the brightest part of my day. And I always have very, very bright moments when I'm with my children and my grandchildren. And I had so many great spots where, you know, kisses and hugs from Anthony and Athena. But there was this little difference today. Um, and I hear I love you all the time. So that's, that's not a... That is a huge deal, but not in this way. Um, so we went on our little hike. We went to Yatkin River Greenway Park in Elkin. I think it's in Elkin. It's right beside Elkin anyway. We got up there. I was like, are we in Elkin? I think we're in Elkin. So my husband was like, yeah, I think we already are in Elkin. But it might be a couple miles down the road if it's not in Elkin itself. But anyway, North Carolina. <laughs> it's a beautiful area. It's one of my favorite areas, in fact. Partially because I really like the goodwill they have. Went in there today, didn't find anything. But that's not the point. Um, so we took Zach and Shiva. And we had a good time walking through there. But on the way out, my husband's putting Shiva away. Me and Zach got on the swings. Um, and here's the thing. When you get older, <laughs> things, extra things go through your mind that did not go through your mind as children. Like, if I fall, this is really going to hurt. I will break something. I've got to be careful. Why does it feel like I'm going to die <laughs> from swinging up high? But I still enjoyed it, and I had a great time doing it. Me and Zach were swinging and kind of like racing back and forth. Who, who could swing the highest, even though I'm chicken? But he, we, we were swinging. You know, we were having a great time. And my husband actually recorded it, but he's asleep. And I ain't trying to mess with his phone while he's asleep and wake him up because he's got to work in the morning. But um, Zach says, I love you, Momo. Which, again, is something I hear all the time, and I really, really love it. But he said it this time out of joy, out of pure joy. He was having a great time. And those are the words that came out of his mouth. And that was the highlight of this day. <laughs> um, also, I kissed my husband on the cheek and he kind of made this <laughs> thing. <laughs> he was doing it to be silly, but still it was cute. Um, I just have had a great day today and I'm very happy about it. We did take the Mini Cooper. <laughs> so the fan is working. The AC is working. Turns out they just, uh, they had checked some fuses. They pulled them out and they put one of them back in the wrong spot. So that was what was wrong with my AC. My check engine light is still on, but we did replace the park thing um, that they thought it was because it had a hole in it and that's a mass airflow issue. So we thought that was it. The check engine light is still on, but I know sometimes it'll stay on until you go 50 miles to 100 miles. Just depends on who you ask. And sometimes you have to reset it and see if it comes back on. I really don't want to reset it, it because I have to go somewhere and get it done. <laughs> or, or unplug my battery, which I'll lose all the presets in my radio. So I'm just hoping it goes off. But if not, we'll have to reset it and see if it comes back on. But anyway, I'm pretty sure we drove 50 to 100 miles today. So considering it all happened while they were working on it, I assume something is just left unplugged from the mass airflow or something. It's, it shouldn't be a big deal, but we got to figure out what it is. And that could be the pain in the butt. <laughs> um, guess that's all I got to say. So you guys, if you made it to this part of the video, type in swing away. Dad, why not? Yeah, I was swinging. It was great. Pun. I did a pun. <laughs> all right. Pun away. Uh, swing, swing away. Swing away. <laughs> Look, little cutie over there. My throat but I was outside all day oh you guys which it might be a little bit red now because I have been cheating a lot but this is a really light color right now it turns out they don't tell you this but lisinopril depletes zinc which makes your hair fall out also zinc <coughs> is known 
to help Rosacea. <laughs> so I've been taking zinc lately and I've been seeing the, the redness in my cheeks ease off. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> oh, let me give me a second. Alright, so if you have hair loss or uh, rosacea, I definitely recommend looking into whether zinc would be something you should take or not. Because I am liking the results of this. I only wear foundation because of how red my cheeks get. Now, again, I will get a flare-up if I eat certain things. It, it's just normal. But, um, like, rosacea really hits me for some reason right here on both my cheeks. Look at these big red cherry apple cheeks. And then across my chest. So, I have noticed just, like, this huge difference over the last couple of weeks of taking zinc every day. And I'm thrilled with that because that cream crap, that stinks and it doesn't work. Um, I've never had anything that actually seemed to really, really work on rosacea. But, now I'm Dutch and stuff. So, anytime I get hot, they're going to be red. Anytime I get angry, they're going to be red. But, I, I've just seen such an improvement. I had to share with that with you, you guys. I know it's not really keto related or anything, but diet and supplement related is important um so yeah i've been doing that <laughs> um also a little tip i just heard the other day and i was actually i didn't know what this doctor was but i agree with everything she said in this one video and i got to look at some of her other videos and she's actually a, a doctor about erectile dysfunction but whatever i was watching her video <laughs> and um which I don't have erectile dysfunction, but she's talking about um, autoimmune diseases, and she was also talking about um, um, blood pressure issues, different stuff like that. And uh, she, I think she's the first person I heard that said lisinopril will deplete zinc. So I had to Google and get into a bunch of different gray areas and try to figure out all that stuff. And then there's some things that say, oh, there's no proof. And then there's other things that say, yeah, they've known it for years. Really? It's good to help the girl out here. But, you know, all I know is over time, my hair has gotten thin and my cheeks have gotten red. And when, when, when I was doing keto earlier in the, my keto journey, and it's actually, if you're losing weight, a lot of people experience hair loss. I sure did. Um, I up my protein and it quit though. But of course, there's some zinc in red meat. So that would make sense. But <laughs> it's still thin. I got this thin, wispy blonde stuff and it actually feels a lot thicker. Um, I think there's some new growth, which is kind of weird. So, yeah. But I've been taking zinc and vitamin C. And, um, once or twice a week, I'll also take an iron supplement. But I'm not positive I need that. So, I'm only doing it once or twice a week. Just to kind of, like, help me out if I do need it. And not overkill if I don't. So, you know. That's just something I'm choosing to do. But I thought I'd let you know that. Alright. So, again. Swing away is the word of the day. Um, I appreciate all y'all's kind comments yesterday because, you know, do better and you're all like, we can all do better. And I really appreciate how you guys handle me because <laughs> sometimes me get a little off the chain and she, me can't act right. I need to stop saying me like that because it sounds like I'm a toddler. I have been around Anthony and a theme of those. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, swing away. If you guys need my help with your ketogenic journey, never hesitate to ask. I'm always right here and I'll answer any question you have. My contact information is in the description below or you can visit ketodiamond.com. It's all written out there for you. Just go read. That's, that's all there is to it. And uh, I guess that's all I got for you today. So, you guys, hit that like button, share, and uh, swing away. Much love, many prayers. Night, y'all.